Hey everybody, got a Steven Springfield Model 15 here today. <clears throat> Little history on this gun is they were made from like 1935 to 1965. A quick Google search showed they were called the Springfield Model 15 before like 1948 and this uh, Stevens Model 15 after 1948. I went on the Numerich gun part website and there was only like 25 parts total in this thing. Pretty impressive. They keep th these things are really simple. I got it for like a hundred dollars, a little over a hundred dollars at a gun show. Figured I'd show it to you guys today because I bought it not really expecting much. Just well, it's what I can afford here today, so I'll throw some money at it. Why not? Just have something. It was also my birthday, so got to come out of there having something, right? But we took it shooting afterwards, me and my friends, and everybody was crowding around this thing. We had the AR and then the, all that fun stuff out there. But shooting this thing with some 22 shorts at a steel target was just fun, man. Hearing it, ding! Everybody was was loving it. Um, and yeah, for a really good price. So just showing it to you guys really quick. Here's some markings. Oh, let's get it this way for you on top. Springfield, J. Stevens Arms Company, Model 15, Chicopee Falls, Massachusetts. Got some patents and some stamp right there. No serial number on this gun, that's how old it is. Uh, this one was made before 48, I think, because it just says Springfield right there. I found out all that stuff off a of quick Google search, so I'm not 100% sure on whatnot. But... Let's get on to the sights. You can see that really bright copper bead up front that really glows, especially in the sun. And you have a really wide notch. And that just makes this thing fun to shoot. Got your big old glowing front sight and your notch. And just go to town. So yeah, this gun is also, I think, really useful for... Just packing it up, going around shooting rabbits and whatnot because it can be pretty compact. Let me take it apart and show you guys really quick. So we got one screw holding the stock on right here. If we go ahead and take it off, then our whole barrel and bolt and action is just going to slide right out the stock. And these are old, so <laughs> they're made nicely. Stain, we got a steel trigger guard. I believe these stocks were birch wood. They stained to look walnut. Mine didn't come with a butt plate, but it came with screws for one. I think some of them came with butt plates, some didn't. So yeah, see you got your stock right there. And you got your barrel in action, which isn't too long overall. You can probably fit it in a bigger backpack and carry it around for you. And they're not very heavy. Another thing about this is they were actually, I guess, popular Boy Scout rifles. So that's kind of interesting. Um, a lot of people learn to shoot on these, I guess. So looking at this, you got your dead simple action. This is all the working bit of the gun right here. So you open it up, put your shell in, you close it. Then you cock your striker. And you shoot. So, how it works is when this, when you pull the trigger, you can see this bar right here go up and down. It's kind of like a little spring. And that pretty much, when you cock your striker, that just clicks into a notch up here. And when you pull the trigger, you'll see that go down. And that's all. That's like what happens when you shoot. It just releases your striker. Um, opening your bolt. It's, you see it's held in the, by the same tab. So to remove it, you can just pull your trigger. And if you want to take your bolt off with the stock on, I found out you can. But you're going to want to push forward on the trigger because it gives you enough movement. Looking at your bolt, once again, very simple. You got your firing pin right here. Got your extractor right here. When you close it, it gets underneath the rim of the case and pulls it out. And as the bolt moves rearward, um, your firing pin is going to poke back out and actually double as your ejector. So, 
Got that doing two things to keep it all nice and simple. Cheap to reduce. Mm, yeah. Going on to here. You'll see that there's no barrel and receiver. Like your barrel kind of is your receiver. So I'm not sure if this is like 16 inches overall length from here or 16 inches from here. I'm not sure where it would start at. But it is pretty short. Looking inside here. Ooh, let me show you this. You can see where it is kind of a little bit rough. It hasn't affected it at all, but you can just see where it's unfinished and uneven. Like I said, not a big deal. Got your chamber right there. And that little bit of wear on the right side is from the ejector, or not the ejector, my bad, the extractor, uh, rubbing to get underneath the rim of the 22 case. So yeah, this gun is really accurate, and that's all there is to it, so let's go ahead and get it back together. Okay, so you're just gonna pull your trigger again, slip your bolt on in. Drop it all back into your stock. Throw your screw back on in. And you're done. Oop, got the dog mad. <laughs> Anyways. The main point of this video is um, I really recommend these guns. Not just this model of gun but this style of gun overall maybe even a single shot shotgun but i just found out that single shots are a lot more fun than you think because it's it seems like you're more involved in the shooting process and i talked to my friends about this and they seem to agree it's just like even though it is more work you're not burning through as much ammo you're kind of taking your time a little bit being more involved having fun feels like you're doing something more so if you haven't shot one of these, I just want to say to go out and give them a try. And thank you for watching. Have a Merry Christmas.